Hey guys, back on a bike, back in my neighborhood on a blue sky kind of day with a few clouds. We are going to go down. I don't know where we're going to go. <laughs> where do you think we should go? Hey, let's go see if that car is still back behind where we were the other day, the uh, fire. Let's go see what's left of that car. Oh, Pepco is still here. Oh, that's Xfinity. That's the uh, cable TV people. Whew. Not much left. Jeez. That's molten something. Something out of like aluminum out of the brakes or something. It just melted out on the street. Just melted right into the street. We're in the 3200 block of Cathedral Avenue where two cars went up in the Molten goo, man. This is. So uh, that's, that's the burned out cars from yesterday's fire. There's a TV crew, Channel 7, the ABC affiliate. They ended up interviewing me, <laughs> so I'm going to be on uh, Channel 7 News here in D.C. tonight. If you're local, you can watch that. Anyway, let's, uh, let's make our way downtown and go find something that's not on fire, not a disaster. Let's take a look at the Wall of Presidents. So this used to be a restaurant, Mama Aisha, Aisha's, Mama Aisha's. I don't think the restaurant is still around, but they do have this mural of presidents, and there's Mama in the middle, <laughs> going back to Eisenhower. This was done before Trump, before, I don't know when this was done, what year this was. So they didn't, yeah, 2012, so they didn't update it. I don't think they have any plans to update it either. I think that restaurant's closed. All right, let's spin over here. All right, this is Adams Morgan. And this is a very hip and trendy part of town. Bookstores and pizza restaurants and coffee. Madam Morgan's is a famous place. Down here is the Jumbo Slice Pizza. This is like a bloody 14 inch slice of pizza. It costs like 10 bucks, but it's humongous. Then this one, Pizza Mart, this is the other big. They both claim to have created the jumbo slice of pizza, though I think lots of people in New York would probably take issue with that. Uh, up there, there's the triple X flag. The flag of Amsterdam. Yeah, I get out of the gutter, guys. And that is falafel and fries. I could really go for fries, but I need to, I need to be healthy right now. A lot of fun little restaurants down here. I would get fries. To be honest, the, the problem is I have to dump the bike. <laughs> you will notice quite a few rainbow flags down in this area. Of this uh, very supportive of the lesbian and gay community down here in Adams Morgan. And then the next neighborhood down, DuPont Circle. DuPont Circle was considered well, kind of like the, the heart of the gay community in Washington, D.C., dating back to the 80s and such. Now it's just really, really expensive. <laughs> All right, let's just 
heat making our way downtown. Off in the distance, you can see the dome of a cathedral that's just up from the White House. And you can see the big stick, which is the Washington Monument behind those sky cranes. All right, let's just keep heading downtown to see what we see. The Safeway used to be called the Socialist Safeway because there was never any food there. Some street art up there, side of that building. They just added this street art about a year ago. This is Amanda Gorman, the uh, poet who was at Biden's inauguration, made that uh, rather famous poetry reading. And they painted her on the side of this wall just about a month or two after the inauguration, about February or March of uh, last year. They added this painting to the DC street, work, street art collection. Pretty colorful steakhouse. Now this is the place that had the Christmas tree up with uh, Jill Biden's picture. And the Bidens came here to take pictures of themselves in front of the Christmas tree. Let's get in the bike lane over here. Yep, even the, even the crosswalks in this part of town are colorful. Let's get back into our bike lane. As we spin down towards the White House. The White House is about oh, five or six blocks ahead. Maybe eight. Okay, guys. We're back in Lafayette Park, as we are most days. I ditched that bike because it was just annoying me. I want to get a faster bike. But uh, just swing over, take a look. Not much going on over there. I can see the crane is up lifting a fence piece right there. You see that? He's got a big piece of fence he's going to plop into position, it looks like. Oh, the trombone man is back. So yeah, you can see at the bottom of that crane, there's a big 14-foot tall segment of fence going in. What's up here today? Could get some helicopter practice. Don't see the dog. Do you hear motorcycles? Hmm. Not much going on outside today. Spin around here on the left. That little monument there, that little stone marker, that's for the original owners of the District of Columbia, the landowners who owned this land prior to the formation of the District of Columbia. Uh, they're sort of memorialized on that little plaque. So about an hour ago or two hours ago, there was a protest march with families from Uvalde, Texas, and Highland Park, Illinois, uh, and Buffalo. They were around here uh, protesting for gun, gun control. I don't know what happened to them, where they are. I wasn't able to get out here when they were actually marching, but we'll go up and see if any of the remnants of that protest are still up and around the Capitol building as we pass the Smithsonian Castle. Ooh. And the car in front of us. Slalom time! <laughs> Come on, you want to do this too. <laughs> oh, more cones, more cones! Oh, the cones are getting closer together. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> so, this exhibit is closed. But they left the big green funky thing outside. I wonder if the big green funky thing is going to stay there for a while. It's pretty cool looking, whatever it is. Somebody. So the 1776ers are over there. 
though I read or I heard this morning that some of them went back to West Virginia because their their camp had gotten a lot of rain and some of the storms. So I don't think they're all there. I think a lot of them are not there right now. They're out uh, in other parts of the city or out in West Virginia. There's the Capitol building and the Washington Monument. There are not even many of them out here now. We could count flags. One, two, three. I wonder how many vehicles they have left. Maybe a dozen or so. They're all out streaming. Thanks. On your left. So yeah, they still got a good number of cars out here. Well over a dozen. And to be honest, the police have dropped their, uh, you know, the last few days we saw a civil disturbance unit, CVU team, parked out here, but the police have uh, dialed that down. They're not here right now. I guess they don't consider them a threat. They're not worried, or they're not worried about them so the CDU team that's been here kind of like ever-present for the last week, and I don't even see the park police. They, they all seem to have uh, backed off today. Interesting. Now, let's go up to the Capitol and see what we can find. Ah, there's one. Third District. Yeah, see, third. this is not Third District. This area down here is not the Third District, so that means that's a, a unit on... Uh, on assignment from another district probably watching those guys not a full cbu team but there is there is a police officer there interesting so this is the capital reflecting pool there are two reflecting pools in dc this one and then one down by the lincoln memorial underneath this one is actually like an eight lane freeway yeah so there's a giant freeway that goes underneath this reflecting pool and takes you across town and then it just stops because they never had the political will to finish the freeway. So you just get dumped out on New York Avenue, and it's just a traffic nightmare. Traffic nightmare and a half, to be honest. Okay, let's go around this circle, and then we'll go up Capitol Hill. <laughs> Pretty day. But back then, so it's not the House and Senate are in session today. I don't know. What is today? Wednesday? Yeah, they're right in the middle of their week, so they probably have some votes on something. You can tell by the flags that there's a flag flying over the chamber. This is the Senate chamber. That means that they're in session. At nighttime, there's two lights that light up at the very top, and you can tell if they're in session. So over there is the Capitol Hill Police uh, Mobile Command Unit. And they set this out whenever there's a big protest planned or some event. I don't think the group that marched today was all that big or not really planning to get arrested or anything. Let's see if there's anyone on the Supreme Court today. And the Supreme Court is quiet. Cops inside. One or two people outside talking to the cops. There's nobody here protesting. There's not even any signs or anything like that. You know, it's about time they reopen this road. This road is uh, a nice north-south connector road, but it's been closed due to the protests. Same with the fence. We can get rid of that fence. There's the U.S. Capitol, guys. Pretty nice view. The fountains are working. What's this scaffolding out here? Looks like they're doing a TV thing or something. Oh, some girl's doing her Instagram. Should I photobomb her Instagram? Nope. 
got to go back and do it again. Pretty cool. So, like I've always told you, the city runs on black suburbans. Mm, black suburban collection is pretty high today. Congress is in session, the black suburbans are all over the place. Oh, there's those orange shirts. Maybe the orange shirt people were the ones protesting. Oh. Couple Marines down here. Oh, they must have had an event they got. So guys, that motorcade that we just saw, that was for Woody Williams, Woody Williams of West Virginia. He is the last, oh, he was the last living Medal of Honor winner from World War II. He passed away just recently and he will lie in state, in full state honors at the U.S. Capitol tomorrow. Uh, that was his motorcade entering town tonight uh, in, in preparation for tomorrow's ceremonies. All right, so down by the World War II Memorial. Pacific and Atlantic theaters, all the states and territories recognized around the outside. Lots of ducks bottom feeding right now. I wonder where all the baby ducks went. Oh, they didn't get chomped up. Anyway, back here at the World War II Museum, behind the Pennsylvania is where you find the graffiti. Kilroy was here, added by the artist as a tribute to the men who fought in World War II. A little bit of humor. He scratched in, Kilroy was here on the back of the memorial. All right, let's swing down. I think the other side of the mall has more shade. What do you guys think? Should we go for that? Ooh, look at all the scum in the water, yuck. So this is only about knee high, maybe waist high at best, if you were to walk through it. Wow, it's beautiful today though, nice reflection. But we're going to go up here in the shade and <laughs> get away from the water. It is pretty hot. Yeah, oh, these guys selling all their sodas and whatnot. Technically, illegally, they're not supposed to be selling here. But they, they sell at a much cheaper rate than the official beverage store where you spend like five bucks for a soda. <laughs> yeah, hot dog and soda is like $12 from the official restaurant. They'll give, you a, they'll give you a bottle of water for a buck. Alrighty, let's go this way. Uh, zoom. That guy is flying. Of course, he's got a lot of stuff he's running into. So these statues were a gift from Italy. The people of Italy donated these statues here. Uh, that's aspiration and literature. And I'm not sure what those two over on Memorial Bridge. But one of many gifts in DC. Across the way, you can't really see it because it's in the trees, is the Netherlands Carillon, which is a bell tower just on the edge of Arlington Cemetery. And it was a gift from the people of the Netherlands after World War II. They just recently renovated the bells. They sent the bells back to Amsterdam to get retuned or whatever you do to giant carillon bells. Okay, let's go down this way and see what we see. Oh, we got a couple muscle flights coming. Okay, so we get to go back through that new tunnel I showed you last week. They just hollowed this out of the Teddy Roosevelt Bridge. 
and now we don't have to bike in traffic, which is, well, nice, I must admit. <laughs> and the bike lane is much wider now and much smoother. It used to be cobblestones, which, well, was pretty jittery, especially when I was filming. Ah, uh, this is the Kennedy Center, yeah. And the Watergate up there. We're going to the cathedral. It's way up on that hill. We got a bit of a hike to get there. Maybe we'll bail out and get on a bus or something. jumped in a bus. <laughs> Call me lazy. So guys, that was my day. Um, I actually did go out to Arlington Cemetery. I'm going to show you that video tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about the Medal of Honor. We'll be going up to the Capitol and then I can explain this story from Arlington. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching today. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.